Here's something you won't see reported in the British media. Some Roma people trying to do the best for themselves in a new country, off on the bus to work. And work turns out to be a chicken processing factory outside town. There's barely a white face to be seen. It isn't the kind of thing English people want to do. Jan worked in the chicken factory, a beer packing factory, and other factories all paying minimum wage. His experience is that it's the Roma who keep such places going. Chicken factory, half for bad, maybe English people know. Uh, no, this is not a bad job because several jobs what will pay for you. Yes, if you read the papers here, you'd think Roma migrant workers are incapable of lifting a finger. This is Derby, one of a belt of cities across the middle and north of England, with thousands of Roma people who've tried to escape a life on the margins in Eastern Europe. Yet once they move into an area, they get accused of contaminating it. Since the European people, mm -hmm. well, I don't, I don't know if they're Asian or what they are, but it's, it's since they've come into the country, that's when we've started getting all the, the rubbish round about, you know what I mean? We never had this 20 odd years ago. It was uh, this was street was good, and and now you, you said before you think it's the worst the worst street in Derby, is it? Yeah, yeah, around here Normanton is the worst now. Many Roma will tell you things are better here than in Eastern Europe, but that's where politicians increasingly think they belong. The Roma minority in the UK is now estimated at around two hundred thousand, and it's only likely to grow. There are children going to school here and children being born here as well, and even if. Britain were to leave the European Union, there's no conceivable way they could simply throw all of these people out and yet there's absolutely nothing that looks anything like a government strategy to try to incorporate the Roma people into society. What there is instead is this, England's most organised expression of a welfare and advisory service for the Roma community. It consists of a borrowed hall and four staff to cater for the needs of 4,000 Roma in Derby. They're frustrated, and the fear is they're being set up to fail by the system. Sometimes I feel really frustrated because I, I'm telling them what to do, and nobody actually listens to us. And it's only one voice in Derby, which is me, and I speak on the behalf of the community. When you say nobody is listening, who, who do you mean by nobody? <laughs> I mean the local authorities. The government doesn't listen. The Roma are perfectly entitled to live in England and yet the proposition is that they might have just six months to get a job or face expulsion. If it were to happen, the chicken factory might have to consider hiring some English workers. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Derby.